guys welcome to my channel my name is Danica and I'm a part-time reseller over on a Poshmark Canada I am coming to you today <laughs> with a little bit of a haul and an unbagging I guess um, if you have been watching my channel for a bit you know that I've had a few thrift auction unboxings well, these are four packages that I had brought over over the border um, recently. I think I still have like two or three things at the warehouse in Montana. I just haven't requested them yet. Um, I don't even know what they are right now. <laughs> Whoops. But anyway, so I have four bags to open. This is basically a Lululemon haul. Um... I wanted to kind of get more Lululemon for people. It was like, I won these auctions in December and I was hoping to get them up for the New Year's like rush for athleisure every year. People are looking for workout clothes right after New Year's. But here we are. <laughs> it's almost February. Whatever. Here we go. So, like I said, I have four of them. One thing I hate about the Crossboard Company is that they package these up like these were all squished together and taped like crazy. So it makes it really hard to carefully um, open the bags. But anyway, here we go. What are these? Oh, these are fast and free leggings. I have a pair of these myself. I really like them. Um, there's just a knot in the waistband, but that's like easy, easy to get out. Um, and these are a size six. And they have the code around the size dot, so they'll be really easy to pull up on Lulu Fanatics to get some stock photos. Next, I'm a little nervous about these that I nicked them while I was opening the bag. But it looks like I'm okay. These are lines. My favorite, favorite, favorite type of Lululemon legging. And these are in great condition from what I can see. Um, there's not really any pilling. Nope, these are pretty much perfect. All the seams look fine. Um, if you watched, these are size eight. If you watched the last video, um, the pair of tall Uggs, like the classic Uggs, I ended up finding a flaw after um, there's a part of the seam has come undone. So I do need to bring those to a cobbler to get fixed, unfortunately. Okay, next, these are... I think they're just wonder unders, but holy, these are like compression, but they're floral and they have the scalloped hem. I, the, this style specifically had really good comps. So I ended up getting those for reference. I pay about like 10 to 12 US dollars for these, plus the cost to get them brought over, of course, but um, I still make good profit. Oh, shoot. Did I, I didn't actually open this one. Bear with me. Here we go. Okay. And these are also Wonder Unders. Crop Wonder Unders. I think these even still have the rip tag attached. Um... And yeah, the information around the size dot, so they'll be really easy to find. Um, if you don't know, Wonder Unders are actually discontinued. Um, Lululemon is not making them anymore. They have a few colors and patterns online still that they're selling um, clearance. So I might wait a little bit to list the Wonder Unders just to make sure that it's like people looking for them specifically that find them and buy them 
So that's my auction haul. And this is a thrift haul. I got a 30% off a Value Village coupon and it was good from Wednesday to maybe tomorrow. I don't know. And it was good for three times. And I went twice, which is pretty good. So this is, is this everything I got? I think I do have more in the spare bedroom that I don't, maybe I have hauled. I think I did, anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> so first I have this Zara dress. I'm hoping to wear this for my birthday. I wore a Zara dress last year for my birthday and I loved it. This is more chambray in person. It's coming up like really it's really washed out but I think it's really cute next is this Urban Outfitters sweater it's like kind of an oversized ribbed um cropped fit oversized crop is my favorite fit right now this is American Eagle and it's a size medium so I got a lot, a lot, a lot of bread and butter items yesterday. So this just says love each other. I think I did find a flaw on this one though. It looks like there's maybe some paint there. So I will try to get that out maybe with some acetone. If I can't get it out, um, I'll exchange it. So we'll see. Next, this Urban Outfitters sweater. I wasn't really sure about it, but it's really soft. It's a um, size medium, and it's like this neon green yellow, and it's got like reflective strips on it. I don't know. It's kind of different, but I like it. Next is this Abercrombie & Fitch oversized crop crew neck. And this is a medium. So I'll definitely be stealing this and wearing it. Um, and it's just like a gray, <laughs> like a heathered gray. Next, you know me, I have to always get a beer crew neck shirt. I will definitely wear this camping this summer if it doesn't sell before I go camping. Next, I have this Swiftly tank. It's a size 10. Next, I have this pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans. This is the Leah High Rise Classic Fit Crop. I have another pair of these in my closet right now, but a different um, style, like the same style, but it's not distressed and it has a released hem at the bottom, but these are very cute. I think they're size, uh, hold on here. They are a size 26. 26. Next, I have this Harley Davidson shirt that, so I was thrifting with my friend Courtney and she just like threw this in my cart. And I was like, cool, thanks. And then when I was checking out, she was like, oh, you're actually buying that? Yes, I am. I am. Next, I have this American Eagle crew neck. It's a size large. I love, love, love selling and wearing American Eagle. I think it's just like, they're always so cozy and comfy and the fit is always really good. Next is Aerie, which is like American Eagle sister company, and I'm also obsessed with them. That's like almost all I wear. This is size large, so really similar. Both size large. <laughs> and last but not least, for this haul anyway, I have this pair of studio pants, Lululemon. These are like a dark gray. These always sell pretty well for me. I think they're a size four. Size four. So that should be good. I'll get this all washed today and hopefully listed in the next few weeks if we're being honest. 
and I'm gonna check because I also went thrifting during the week so I will be right back with that stuff okay I knew I had more to show you <laughs> And no one else has seen this haul yet. Usually I have a few friends I send my hauls to when I get home, but they haven't even seen this stuff yet. So this is a Wilfred sweater. It's a size small. Now that I, I don't think it's shrunk. I think it looks okay, but let me, I don't know. Maybe I will exchange this one. I can't be sure. Hmm, what do you think? Next, this vintage Arizona crew neck that's got a wolf howling at the moon. The graphic is quite worn, but I think it's okay. Um, yeah, it's like very cracked, but I still love it. <laughs> Next, more bread and butter more airy this is a size large and this i was like this looks familiar like i've seen this on their website recently um if you don't know on uh, airy and american eagle it has this little tag at the back and in here it says 0921 so this means this is like less than a year old this was released september 2021 and it's already, someone was already done with it. Well, I'm like, perfect, because I can't wait to wear this. It's got a hood, it looks so comfortable, and it's a size large. Next, oh, <laughs> next, this is the American Eagle sweater, and this one is a size medium. <laughs> it's just like an olive green um, crew neck with these buttons. And since we checked the other one, let's check this one. This one is from 2018. So like a little bit older, but still very cute. And the last of my 30% off, although boots, shoes were not 30% off. Well, I don't know if they were or not. Are these Sorrells? These are my size. So I'm not sure if I will be listing those. I need to go through my shoes and boots. I do have a pair of uh, Manitoba mucklucks that are really warm that I use for my walks in the winter, but they have a fringe on them. So they're very loud when I walk and I get kind of self-conscious about it, but they are very warm. So I like almost want to sell the mucklucks and keep these, but I have to try these out first and make sure they're also very warm. I'll probably just end up keeping the mucklucks. Honestly, they are so warm and they're so comfortable. It's like wearing slippers for my walks. But yeah, okay, so this is everything I got in the last week thrifting. I have been actually quite productive um, photographing and listing for Poshmark. I am still only listing on Poshmark Canada right now, just I don't know sales on the u.s side were so slow for me there in the end and it was just like not worth the trouble for me so i was like all right we're shutting her down uh, focusing on poshmark canada and you know what the sales on poshmark canada have been great so it was also like while i was laid off it was so much easier to juggle it all obviously because that's i had time for it but now that I'm working full time, it was just like, I was having to cancel orders all the time because it had sold on one platform and then I didn't, forgot to delete it on the other. Um, you know, like the roads were bad. So driving to the courier was just like, not something I wanted to do. I was getting really bad anxiety about it. So I was canceling sales for that too. And so now I'm just like, okay, I'm focusing on Poshmark Canada and it's actually going really well right now um to give for perspective i didn't really have an issue staying at about 500 pending so like 500 dollars pending um since i went back to work like i really like 
was able to consistently stay there, which is a comfortable spot for me to be at. That's kind of like my gauge of if I'm doing, you know, that was stable for me. That's, I was comfortable there. Um, and in the last few months, it, that dropped down to under 200 uh, uh, pending. And I was like, okay, this is like, who? I would really like to be making a little bit more than this. So if you don't sell on Poshmark, none of that is gonna make sense to you if you're just here for a thrift haul. <laughs> but yeah, so basically I'm now like over 600 and that's from just like really powering through photographing and listing and that yeah so i'm really happy to be there and so i want to like kind of ride that wave this month well february i am on call at work so i don't really know how much i'm going to be working it's possible i get called every single day i'm on call and i have a full schedule it's also very possible that i don't get called and so I'll have a lot of days off at home. So that's also good for um, YouTube. I'll be able to create more content. I'll be able to go sourcing more and I'll be able to kind of hustle and work my butt off and, you know, try and make some extra cash. So that's all I have for today. Um, I did film a thrift with me video yesterday. So I'll be working on editing that today and hopefully get it up and uploaded this week um if you don't follow me on instagram i have everything linked in the description my instagram and my tiktok are thrifty underscore stew i don't know if my tiktok has the underscore but i have been loving creating tiktok content it is so fun for me i actually just like i don't know it just cracks me up so if you need a little break from everything and just want to laugh, make sure you take a look at my TikTok and you can like follow me there if you want to. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got and I will see you later this week.